Once we start talking about transport, we're moving from the middle of the internet where the routing happens and where packets sort of flow from place to place and can get dropped to the edges. So that's one interesting sort of evolution. We're also popping up the stack a little bit. So now we're still gonna start talking about some higher level protocols. One of the things that's really interesting to me about transport on the internet is this idea of trying to rebuild connections on top of this unreliable medium. Keep in mind, the telephone companies had been creating these connections for years out of solid wires. So that's how you connected one thing to another. There was an actual circuit. The big innovation behind the internet, or one of the many, was this idea of a packet-based network where the core of the internet was kept very simple and allowed to fail. So the core of the internet can drop packets without any consequences. But now the edges of the internet have to take responsibility for creating connections, making sure that data arrives, um, ensuring that, uh, and, and trying to make use of all the capacity online. So to some degree, transport and routing start to think, you can say, the, not a terrible metaphor is this idea of roadways and transportation. So, you know, transport, trying to get things, the transport protocols that run at the edges of the internet are trying to move data across the internet reliably and as fast as possible. But there's something else that's really interesting about transport protocols because baked into them is this idea of fairness. One of the things that uh, the transmission control protocol or TCP, which is one of the primary things we're gonna talk about in transport, when we talk about transport, one of the things that's built into TCP is this idea of trying to allow all of the parts of the internet to use the internet fairly. And I think that's really interesting, actually, this sense that we've built this huge computer network, and despite the fact that you, know, you might get frustrated because your TV show isn't downloading fast enough or something like that, um, we're still, we, we, we cooperate online. We all cooperate online, regardless of whether you know it or not, the protocols that are running on your computer that are deciding how much of the internet to use are sharing it with other people um, nearby and are sharing parts of the internet with people that are even farther away from you. So I think that's kind of really neat. Um, one of the thing, main things we talk about when we talk about transport is something called TCP. There are new alternatives that are emerging to TCP because the internet itself has gotten a lot more complicated. The way that people connect to the internet, wireless connections, the ranges of bandwidth and speed, um, and all sorts of different things are causing there to be actually a lot more excitement and innovation in the transport layer than there probably has been for the past 10 or 20 years. So this is an exciting space. Um, goals of the transport protocols, move data across the internet, uh, use, uh, use internet bandwidth as appropriate, share the bandwidth with others, and also rebuild this notion of a connection, a reliable connection, um, on top of an unreliable medium. You know, I should repeat myself. <laughs>